Hello, my name is Naomi. I'm a junior here at the high school and today I will be reading Which Way to Which School? Within haunted houses all over the land, those far and away and those close at hand, you'll find little witches, not wicked or cruel, preparing to go to Miss Thornapple's school. It's more than exciting. They really can't wait. There won't be a single witch showing up late. Packing is simple. It's done just like that. The trick is to get all your stuff within one hat. A bus picks them up and they go as a team. They all love the driver. They think he's a scream. With a whoosh, the bus lifts them straight up in the air. They say it will take half the night to get there. They cackle and joke. They're a fun loving bunch. And when they are hungry, they have a box lunch. The driver drives to the earth. Has it run out of fuel? No, they've simply arrived at Miss Thornapple School. The girls are delighted to see the locale. Each discovers a favorite new pal. They're eager to trade any gossip and potions, especially the ones that cause endless commotion. Miss Thornapple dines with the girls in the hall on food as delicious as they can recall. The eyeballs are gooey like raspberry jelly and tentacles tend to be slimy and smelly. They move into dorms, they make them their own. They straighten up the cobwebs and talk on the phone. They tell scary stories their grandmothers told and smuggle in kittens from out of the cold. If they don't pay attention in class, it's apparent to teachers who tend to be rather transparent. Ms. Zorch is their teacher in chemistry class. For which a which, it's important to pass. Mathematics and physics can also apply and finding out how magic brooms can fly. Singing is fun, they're determined to reach the highest of notes, they're the best ones to screech. But Miss Thornapple School is merely pragmatic. Witches are famous for being dramatic. Their plays might be funny or terribly tragic, but on opening night, there is always some magic. But it's not just the mind that has to be fed, says Miss Glunk, their teacher. It's actually physical ed. It's all very well to swim in a pool, but to swim in a swamp is especially cool. Sometimes they explore the haunted house old forest it's creepy enough to delight any tourist. Hiking at night is not all that frightening. It is in fact quite dull without thunder and lightning. Then like a spell that a witch could have cast, in a wink and in a flash, the school year has passed. Miss Thornapple wipes a tear from her eye as she bids all the little good witches goodbye. That may be surprising, but don't be judgmental. Many a witch can be quite sentimental. And then with a shudder, a sputter and a wheeze, the bus takes to the air like a ghost on a breeze. Don't be too sad, it's not really the end. Next year, they will all gather all over again. Would you like to visit the witch school? If so, what would be your favorite activity?